Sunday School. It's so good to be with you guys once again. My name is Abby and this is Peter and today we are once again going to be looking at the fruit of the Spirit. So let's just remind ourselves of that key verse we're looking at which can be found in Galatians 5 verses 22 and 23. says this, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So last week we looked at love, and this week we are moving on, and we're going to be looking a little bit at joy. Now, Peter, do you know what joy is? That's a good answer. Peter said joy is a little bit like happiness. Now, they are very, very similar. But the difference is, normally we are happy for a reason. So for example, this morning for my breakfast, I've got chocolate croissants and that is making me happy. But that is happiness, I have a reason for that. The difference is, with joy, that joy is happiness that comes from God and it doesn't have a necessary reason. It is constant happiness because we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done for us. So we're going to read quite a popular psalm, Psalm 100, which you might have heard at the beginning of the service before. And this tells us a little bit about joy. It says this, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is good. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are the people, the sheep of his pasture. We enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give him thanks and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. So this psalm is telling us how to be joyful. We need to shout for joy all the earth. And that we come before the Lord with joyful songs. Now joy can be a bit difficult sometimes, because when things are difficult and when you're a bit sad, it can be hard to be joyful. But we have to remember that even when bad things happen, God is still here and God is still good. And the things that Jesus did are still as amazing as they were the first time he did them. So we're going to say a little prayer and then we're going to do a little fun craft about making a joyful noise. So shall we pray? Okay. Father God, we thank you that you have given us beautiful joy, that we can praise you and be joyful even when things are difficult, and even when times are sad. Help us, Lord, to remember what you have done for us and to stay joyful through all circumstances. Amen. Well, are you going to go for a little nap now, Peter? Yeah? Wonderful. Will you just go down there? Wonderful. Okay. And we're going to be making a joyful noise unto the Lord, just as the psalm has told us to do. And we're going to do this by making our own little musical instrument. So I'm going to pop my Bible to the side. And what you're going to need for today's craft is some silo tape, a little bit of cardboard, a cardboard loo roll, some kind of either pasta or rice, or I've got some red lentils, and some scissors and some pens got right here. So the first thing you want to do is try and draw a circle the shape of the end of your zero onto your cardboard. Once you've done that, you're going to want to cut them back out. two cardboard circles, I am going to style tape one of them onto the end. Okay, so now you should kind of have what looks like a little cup. And so what I want you to do is grab a little bit of your pastel or rice or lentil and pour it in very carefully so it should go over the place. Okay. 
Okay, so there we go, I've got some of those in there, and now I'm just gonna stick my piece of cardboard on the other end. Okay, so there we have it. You now have a shaker, which can help us make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And I'm gonna put up a couple of songs onto our YouTube this week so that you can sing along, you can shake along, and make a joyful noise unto the Lord this week. And so the last step in making your little shaker is just to have a little bit of decoration on the outside. And as normal, I think it's so good to put something that we've learned this week on the outside of our craft. Alrighty, and there we have it. We've got our little shaker, and as you can see on mine, I said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And I'm going to be shaking this and praising the Lord Jesus' name this week. And so I hope you have an absolutely awesome week doing whatever you get up to. Let us know down in the comments what are you getting up to in your summer holidays this year. We would love to know. So stay safe, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time.